Ajay this side and in this video what I'm going to, I'm going to explain to you how you can build your own stock prediction system okay even if you don't have much knowledge about the Python and all such things okay all you require to do just follow this tutorial just copy write each line of code okay bring some data buy somewhere from internet because the data is the most important thing for AI okay so in the, I'll, I'll be explaining in this every sequence okay and how you can be able to build your own stock prediction system on the top of TensorFlow okay so I'll start with data thereafter I'll, I'll, I'll come to the main algorithm okay so talk about AI in then you'll be getting good out if you put bad data then you'll be getting bad out that means the logic is very simple garbage in garbage out go in go out okay 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 forget about this thing because you'll be getting so, so many tutorial on internet that how ai is work okay um, um i'll be rather focusing on on this video and the prediction system all such things so uh, okay um, whenever you see internet is all about internet even google yahoo Quindle, all such api all such apis provide the data of stock but the problem with those data they provide the open high close at the end of the day not uh, not at the middle of the day that what is how okay and uh, what is going to happen and even the if you if you uh, ask for historical data okay they will provide you historical data on the basis of day okay not on, on the basis of minute not on the basis of hours and all such things so that's the problem so one thing if you want to build your own prediction system you need previous years data okay not in the interval of one day you require a data of one minute interval so that you can reconfigure the data in accordance to your requirement whether you want to build one minute prediction system two minute prediction system a day prediction system and whatsoever you want to do it I'm, I'm okay i'll show you my data first and thereafter i'll come to uh, I'll provide some link on the bottom of the uh, of this video as well as the source code uh, where you can get the source code uh, URLs. So um, if you don't want the data uh, because right now I'm going to ex execute everything on the sample data. If you want own your own data, you need to buy from somewhere. Okay, you can ask from Kindle, you can ask from DeepStocks.net, and so many other website. I'll provide the link of those website uh, or the, at the comment section. Uh, along with if you like my this video and the explanation please subscribe okay so here uh, I'm, I'll be explaining with data first and thereafter I'll come to the main concept so that's my program and this is the data I hope you people able to see it so uh, as you can see I have a 17 year data till 2017 the main thing of this data you you, you can see it that uh, this is open high volume and the closing price but this open high volume of the data is not the full day okay it is before the lunch time okay what happened up to the lunch time okay the market will open at 6.68 whatever the currency type is okay the highest reached about 8.2 and total volume being sold about a particular stock till the lunch is 4,68,280 so, so okay and the close it close close which is uh, definitely uh, which is uh, the main target point okay at uh, what is the closing price whether it is going up whether it is going down and should we invest or should we withdraw the shares okay so this is the closing price of the end of the day i'm taking input i'm i'm repeating everything again i'm taking input the open highest at the mid of the day okay volume sold at the mid of the day and trying to predict the end of the day closing price okay because if you will be, be if, if you will be using open source data then you'll be, you won't be getting the highest and lowest also the volume sold at the till the afternoon you'll be getting end of the day 
sensex so if in that case end of the day sensex if you are using end of the day sensex then in that case your prediction system won't be able to predict any outcome so important thing is you need data first collect it from somewhere and I, I, as i already told you i provided some link so you can get the those data from those url okay buy it and give so what uh, whatever you like to do and uh, thereafter you would be able to build your own prediction system that's the most important thing okay so first thing the most important you require data thereafter uh, the main frame of algorithm and after those all those things you would be build a, such a prediction system which actually overlapping the closing price of the market okay if like this the red so red lines red arrow shows the actual stock price and the green arrow shows the predicted stock price of the market and as you can see there uh, though there may be some gap but they uh, at the beginning but they are approaching to each other in this case as well but in the most of the cases they are actually overlapping okay so uh i guess i gave uh, i show you the data and i show i've shown you the final outcome of the algorithm so now it's time to move to the ma main algorithm so uh, here i go okay so here is the script this is the script okay it's take 5 minutes me to build this script so i believe you would be able to build a replica of this with the help of me in 5 minute only okay so i'm explaining you each line of code okay i did it because i'm using zero uh, initialization with qda driver okay so this is a basic function to read uh, data but uh, you don't require this function okay get data frame for the next time because uh, you'll be getting data from api so uh, i just build it because i have actually used manual data okay here so and uh, uh, the thing i'm i'm using here i have shown you is date okay not my concern open high volume and closing so i did it here the open okay all these values are up to the mid of the day open high and volume source but the closing is at the end of the day end of the day this is the most important thing okay that's the main frame of algorithm so i move further okay i'll be getting the data as split it in test and train format thereafter i initialize my tensor and give it a save because i have i'm using open high and low i'm using open high and volume as input so the shape of the data should be 31 three attribute okay the rnn size i'm using here is 128 and here is the main frame of algorithm and it is quite clear yeah, it's very simple and very very simple way to do these things i'm using bidirectional gru and all such things okay so uh, i'm eliminating this thing okay so uh, the layer architecture i'll show you later on so here i'm i'll be getting three gru cell i'm using here return sequence true go backward yes wait initialize the initial wait, wait is at normal okay the dropout to avoid the overfitting of the system is 0 0.25 flatten to uh, make the last layer in accordance to me tens because the to predict the last closing price and uh, 
the optimizer I have used here is Adam. Here I compiled this thing and uh, this is I used for plotting the so that I can show you the the model architecture and uh, I'm I'm saving my checkpoint on some folder and name it stock pretrain.ht5. Uh, the monitor uh, I'm actually monitoring the validation loss and let's see what happened there after I'm I'm running this example for 20 po and 20 and taking 20 as a batch size okay so here I run it it takes uh, very less time to get trained okay that's a very simple simple very simple this and get them. Meanwhile, I will show you what how it look like the model. Input layer 3, 32 filter, there after 64 filter, there after 128. Okay, here I applied the dropout to avoid the overfitting, there after flatten to condense the last layer and fi finally the tensor. Okay, my training is being complete. So I'll ch uh, let me check. Uh, yeah, as you can see, my stock retain dot sd5 is already saved so i'll be moving to validation script okay here i put minus one so that because at the time of validation and we don't require gpu support so i'm running this uh, prediction script on the top of cpu only i'm again using uh, a stock data okay here after the bidirectional let me move this thing Okay, make it more simple. Dropout 25, dense activation, and Adam optimizes optimizer 0.00. Um, uh, what is the name of my pre-trained model? Let me check it out. The stocks. Okay, and uh, I'm, I'm going to execute this thing and let's see what happened. So here I run the script main for prediction. I use this thing for plotting the script and uh, downward and upward array for prediction and real time, real, real stock value and predicted stock value. So uh, here I get the outcome. Okay, uh, now you can, you can you have, actually you can see the they are actually predicting the stock price very very closely. So, pre, uh, it is more it will be more clear for you when I get the zoom out on a particular rectangular portion. So here I can again make it zoom. So you can see the actual and predicted stock price is overlapping here and. Uh, I hope I explained you everything. So uh, I hope I explained you everything and it helps you to build your own prediction system. The script is very simple. I provided the URL of the script where you can get the script and the uh, sample data for your own testing and uh, for buying the data if you want to buy some stock previous year data and I provided some URL so that you can buy those data and build your own prediction system don't uh, you don't require such a company who actually help you to invest on stocks like mutual fund and all other things because they are taking so much charges from you guys and uh, maybe you, you you can face some losses so in this um, if you have the control of your own script then you can make your decision by your own and uh, get some profit as well so i hope you like it and uh, i'll i'll be waiting for your comment thank you very much i also provided my email id for any support thanks and bye bye